Welcome back, everyone. Now we're pleased to present the first of our keynote speakers, Dr. Vanessa Perotta of the Marine Predator Research Group, Department of Biological Sciences in the Faculty of Science and Engineering at Macquarie University. And Dr. Vanessa talks to us from New South Wales, Australia, on the subject of humpback whales, whale snot and drones. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Vanessa Perotta and I'm so excited to be telling you a little bit about my career path into science, technology, engineering and maths. Today I'll be showing you a brief presentation about my career path and how it is that I got to what I'm doing and also a little bit about some of the animals I work with, which are the humpback whale. I also work with a variety of other animals, but today I'll be talking about whale snot and drones in particular. So I am gonna share my screen with you all as part of a way of demonstrating a little bit about my work and to show you that following your pathway into science and science for the world can be different for everybody. So you'll see that there is a drone and a whale and this is predominantly my research. However, I've transitioned into doing more wildlife research, which you'll see in a moment. So how did I get to doing what I do? And one of the things I'd like to point out is that as a child, I was very passionate about the wild world, wildlife in particular, as well as whales and dolphins and sharks, you name it, anything marine I was into. And so here's a photo of me as a little girl, just, you can see that I love animals there. <laughs> And as well as that, when I was younger, I saw a lot of people on screen like Sir David Attenborough showing us the wonderful world of wildlife. And so this was this visibility that showed me that I wanted to be part of that. As well as that, following my passion to STEM, and that's STEM, that's my, uh, my little box up there is blocking the M. But essentially, you'll see that when I was younger, I grew up on a farm. Then I ended up working in a zoo. And then I ended up going into my master's and my PhD, which has allowed me to become a marine scientist in particular. But the thing I wanted to point out is that throughout the entire journey of me doing what I've done, well, it hasn't always been marine focused and that's fine because diversity is key. And this is where I've learned a lot about how to do a wide range of things that have been transferable into different jobs that I've done as a scientist. And that's what's really important. And having an optimistic mindset is also important. In addition to that, there has been a number of challenges that I have faced as a scientist. So for example, when I wanted to work on whales, I didn't know much about them at all. In fact, I probably still don't know much about whales in, in the big grand scheme of things because, well, I think it's good that we always keep learning and that's important. As well as that, there wasn't many girls or women doing the things that I wanted to do. And so there wasn't that real mentor that I had to look up to. So what I had to do was become determined to make a difference, to be that person who will hopefully inspire you or maybe someone you know to go out and follow their dreams and to make a difference and to, in this case, become a scientist or maybe you want to go to space, whatever it may be, or it doesn't even have to be going into space. It, whatever it may be, it is something that we want you to follow your passion and something that you can then go into a very fulfilling career path later on in life, which is exciting. And so my passion led me to do research, which was conservation focused, but also use technology. And so what you'll see here is four humpback whales and up the top, there's a drone. And this is our whale snot research. So one of my works that I'm very proud of is creating a drone in collaboration with Heli Guy Scientific, which is known as Alastair Smith, our drone pilot, where we created this drone You'll see that it has four propellers and this drone was a prototype which then became the actual drone because it was waterproof and whale snot proof. And by using a drone, we have this circular dish up the top to collect the whale snot, which is actually whale lung bacteria. And the reason we wanted to collect this was to learn more about whale health. By learning more about whale health, we can learn more about the population. We can also learn more about our environment. And I talk about this in my TEDx talk, which is available on my website, which I'll show you at the end of this talk. So really from me following my passion and my being really determined and hardworking, I was able to work with others to create colorful technology to learn more about whale health. And in fact, we did just that. You'll see here the drone flies within only, only a couple of meters of a whale and it's kind of hazy there. That's their whale snot. And so this is what the drone is doing. It's collecting whale snot to learn more about them. 
And that is super fulfilling as a scientist to go, you know what, I wanted to do something like this and I've been able to do it. And it hasn't just happened overnight. It's taken many years and determination to do just that. But now I'm very proud to be talking to you all about it and proud of this work as a scientist. In addition to that, by talking about my work has led me down the science communication pathway where I've talked to people about my drones around the world, essentially, where, whether it be on TV in the United Kingdom over there, where I was representing Australia as part of Fame Lab, which we came second in the world. It's pretty cool. And also on radio. So there's a whole variety of ways that I talk about my research to help inspire other people and help talk about the work that we're doing to learn more about whales and down marine environment, which is really important. And as well as that, the talk about importance, the importance of women in science is also key for women particularly. And it's really important because if you can't see it, you can't be it. Or in other words, if you can see it, be it. And so here we have Dr. Sylvia Earle. She's a fantastic marine ocean explorer that I had the joys of meeting very briefly actually, after a day of work on a whale watching boat. That was my happy face after racing across the Sydney city to try to go and meet her and it was fantastic. And that's, I guess, my equivalent. Hopefully I might be the inspiration for maybe one of you to look up to, to hopefully inspire you to do amazing things in your career, which will be very exciting to see. But the good thing is, is that as well as doing marine science, I am now currently transitioning into doing more things in addition to marine science. And the good thing is, is becoming or transitioning as a wildlife scientist allows me to work on a whole variety of animals. And so one of the things that I'm doing is taking my skills, those transferable skills from what I know in one career path into another. And my career path is just growing and, and merging. And this is what's great. And this is all about new opportunities. And so you'll see there's an echidna and a lace monitor. And these are Australian wildlife. And what I'm doing in my current project, or one of them at least, is using emerging technologies to try and identify wildlife, unfortunately, that is illegally trafficked or smuggled. And this is important because we want to save these animals. We want to make sure that they're not trafficked. And so as part of that, I'm officially recognised as Australia's, or at least Science and Technology Australia's, one of 60 women of, of the Superstar of STEM program. And that's really fantastic. And it's really humbling as well as a scientist to be recognised as that. So that was my brief little talk to you all about how maybe you can see that career paths into doing what you want to do isn't always a straight line. It goes from here to there, here to there. And the work that you can do might look a little different at the start, but you might be able to then go into something that you absolutely love. And this is all exciting. And this is why I encourage you to think about your future potentially in science, technology, engineering and math, or even arts known as STEAM. Because after all, collaboration, working with other people and following your passion is a very powerful thing. And if we can all celebrate science around the world, this is a great opportunity to do just that. And hopefully people like myself and many others that you'll hear from will be that inspiration for you to then consider a career path down this way. And I wish you all the very best. And remember to keep positive and keep optimistic and remember to network and meet new people. And finally, remember to always ask questions because that's really important. We'll never know everything, but if you ask, you learn. And for further information, you can learn more or even contact me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or my website, which is vanessaparotta.com. Thank you so much for everyone for having me. I hope you have a wonderful time and stay safe.